Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninen, and for today's video, we're going to do another sunscreen review. Today, we're reviewing the Supergoop Every Single Face Watery Lotion. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 with a PA of 4 plus. It is water and sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes. You get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is about 50 milliliters, and it retails for $34. I picked mine up from Sephora. They also sell it at Ulta, I think, and the Supergoop website. They claim that this provides protection for all skin tones and routines. It's invisible on everyone, and this universal SPF refreshes the skin with a lightweight finish. Active ingredients are avobenzone 3%, homosalate 9%, octosilate 5% and octocrylene 9%. So this is a pretty basic chemical sunscreen, so obviously it's not going to leave a white cast, which is why I think it's funny that it, they market it as invisible on everyone because it should be. So I've been wanting to try this one out from Supergoop for a while. I feel like I've been seeing it all over Instagram, mostly back in the winter, not as much now in the summer, but I wanted to get my hands on it and give it a try because I just thought it's so cute. Like, I, I don't know, I, I'm a sucker for some good packaging. So I feel like this circle packaging is pretty unique and the cap comes off like this. And I just thought it was so cute. So some key ingredients that they have in here besides the chemical filters is Crest Sprout Extract, which they say that it's combined with Smart Polysaccharide Complex to help the skin retain water, filter pollution, and strengthen the skin barrier. And they also have Wild Butterfly Ginger Root Extract, which acts as a potent antioxidant. They do have some lavender extract in here and rosemary and apple extract, which I feel like all contribute to the fragrance. So they claim it's like a watery lotion. To me, I I guess, um, it's a little less watery than some of like, you know, the Korean sunscreens that I've tried on here, but it's definitely a watery type lotion to it and it blends in pretty easily. As you guys will see, it is pretty glowy. So when you first pour it, it smells like alcohol, like straight up to me. But then once you rub it in, it turns into more of a, of that lavender sort of rosemary, kind of like a clean floral scent to it. So I'm definitely smelling that in here. Although it does, it says that there's no like added fragrance, all of those extracts I feel like kind of contribute to the smell to it. So I wore this one on bare skin and then I also tested it out with makeup. I didn't wear this with a moisturizer because as you guys will see, like this is enough. First day I wore this, I wore it on bare skin and as you guys will see, I put a pretty decent amount on, rubbed it on my face and neck, and you can instantly see that glow to it. It is looking <laughs> very glowy, borderline shiny. I mean, there's a difference between glow and shine. This is kind of get heading towards the shine to me. And I felt like I had to rub it in for a while. It definitely does not rub in as quickly as I would like it to. I feel like I did quite a bit of rubbing before I got it to the way that it felt. And then I let it dry. So I left it on for 15 minutes and then I'm showing you what it looks like in window lighting. And you can, I feel like you can really see here sort of that glow that you're getting from it. So if you have more dry, dull looking skin, I feel like you'll like this one. But if you're like me and you get more more oily and you don't need more of the glow then I don't know if this one will necessarily be the best option for you I will say that even after the 15 minutes of wearing it it still felt kind of tacky um, and I could still feel like some residue to it so it I, I don't know it never fully dried down completely for me and it just felt like there was still product on my face I ended up wearing it for I think three hours actually I try to shoot for two hours but you know life happens so I think this was around the three four hour mark and I came back and as you guys will see I look very shiny I am oily so we always expect oil in the t-zones but I think what really gives it away is when you look at my temples and look at my jaw um, and you look at my nose, I do look quite, quite shiny. And I was like, I was sticky to the touch still. So I went ahead and blotted and did quite a bit of blotting all over my face. And then I reapplied and was not a fan of reapplication. I feel like this is just a little bit too much. And with putting that second layer on, it ended up feeling heavier and stickier and 
even more glowy and I just didn't like how it felt on my face overall. I think if I were to continue to wear this one, I would probably wear it more in the winter when I am dry and dull and I need a little bit more oomph to my face. But on its own in the summer, I just feel like it's way too much if you have oily skin. Also, I should mention that this one does sting your eyes. <laughs> my eyes were burning by the end of the day, so would not recommend putting this around your eyes. And if you do, maybe powder a little bit. But I felt like the sunscreen sort of moved around throughout the day so that's kind of how it wore on its own it was it was okay I can see the type of people that would like the finish and the glow of this I'm just not that type of person that enjoyed it so the next day I wore it with makeup and I just put you know the same amount on let it sit and then I put the makeup on top of it I was expecting to not really like it with makeup but it actually wore fine I feel like the makeup applied pretty decently on top of it and it, it didn't really move around, it didn't separate, it didn't pill, nothing like that. So the makeup applied fine. The only thing is because it is so glowy, um, putting other products on that are glowy is probably not the best idea. I had to, I found myself putting a little bit more powder than I would normally wear to kind of get it to the finish that I like, but it does sit fine underneath makeup. I wore it for two hours and came back and as you will see, I actually don't look as oily as I thought I would be. I thought I was gonna be like a grease bum, but with the makeup it wore fine I believe the reason that it sat fine with makeup and my makeup specifically is because I powdered extra um, from the start and then I also sprayed down with a sort of matte type setting spray so that could be contributing to it but it looked fine to me and I think it'll wear fine with most people's makeup if you are oily you'll probably have to powder around your t-zones a little bit more but it wore fine and I think it actually looks pretty good and I was pleasantly surprised by the two hour mark so now that I've shown you guys how it wore I'm gonna share a little bit more about who I think this would be best suited for. If you have oily skin, I don't think you'll really like this one. Um, I just feel like it, the glow and the shine is a little bit too much for my oily skin girls like myself. I think it looks fine when you initially apply it, you get that nice glow to it, but then it turns into just oil and slick. And if you have oily skin, I can see you kind of liking it more in the winter months, but in the summer, probably wouldn't recommend it. If you have dry skin, I'm so jealous of you guys. I know I shouldn't say I'm jealous of people with dry skin, but I feel like a lot of products are created for your skin type and it's annoying. No, I'm happy for you, glad you have options. But a lot of sunscreens I feel like are created for people with normal to dry skin, um, where you're really getting the radiance and the moisturization and all of that, and I feel like you're gonna get that with this one. So if you have normal to dry skin, I would probably recommend this. Um, or if you just like glow in general, I would recommend this. If you are like, no, I want a normal to matte finish, this is not it for you. Definitely created for my dry girls, my oily girls. I just don't see you liking it as much, but I could be wrong, let me know. Um, and then if you have acne prone skin, I, did I have any issues with this? I don't think I had any issues with this one. If you have acne prone skin like myself, I don't think you're really gonna have that much of an issue with it. I didn't really have any problems with having extra breakouts or anything like that but obviously your skin could be sensitive and acne prone to other things. If you have sensitive skin, I didn't really have any issues with it irritating my skin or anything. No itching, no redness, no inflammation, no reaction, nothing like that. The only thing is I felt the sensitivity on my eyes. So if you have sensitive eyes specifically, I would skip this one. And then if you're a makeup wearer, I feel like it wears fine with makeup. Um, it actually looked okay. You might just need a little bit more setting spray and powder to keep everything in place, but it applied pretty smoothly on top of everything. Will I continue to use this sunscreen? I feel like I will be keeping this one to try it out more in the winter because I can really see myself actually liking the finish better in the winter. We, you know, when I'm more dry and dull looking and I need a little extra glow, but I will not probably reach for this at all in the summer or the hot and more humid months. So that's it for today's video. If you've tried the Supergoop Every Single Face Watery Lotion and you liked it, let me know. If you tried it and you hated it, also let me know. Um, and don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations down in the comment section below. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.